Hey there you! So sadly summer has now drawn to a close um, but maybe that's a good thing because I've been so busy and I've been doing so much stuff and I'm really tired now so I think I'm looking forward to kind of a nice relaxed autumn maybe? I don't know, I've got some more plans Anyway, um, over the summer I've been buying loads of stuff and I thought I would share some of those things with you um, in kind of a, a favourites video Now I know what you're thinking Favourites, monthly favourites tend to be a thing of beauty vloggers. Don't worry, there is no foundation or eyeliner here. Apart from a little bit on my face. Just a little bit. I better kick things off, otherwise we're going to be here all day. So, back in July and August, I was on a 10-day canoeing expedition in Sweden. Uh, it was a fantastic trip. If you want to watch what I got up to, there's going to be a link here. Now, when packing uh, for a canoeing, kayaking, any water-based trip, uh, all year has to go in dry bags and I need some new ones. Didn't want to spend too much money because I didn't have too much money and some you know, robust that was not going to get my gear wet. And someone recommended Lomo to me. Uh, Lomo make a load of wetsuits, dry bags, all that kind of uh, water sports equipment. They do a lot of these uh, vinyl kind of dry bags, heavy duty, they come in all sorts of different sizes. They also do ones that have like a clear window in them. Uh, they've also got the lightweight kind of plasticky, lightweight kind, uh, if that's what you're after. The great thing about them is they're so cheap. Like these are like three or four quid, these ones are like six or seven. It's, it's really great how good value they are. I was so surprised. Um, and I have actually got a couple of favourites from their range. This bad boy, first off, uh, this is a 40 litre hold all dry bag, okay, so the the opening is along the top and you clip it on these sides, this is a 40 litre one and I took one look at this and thought canoeing trip, overnight canoeing trip, this is the perfect size for just kind of your overnight gear and it's 20 quid <laughs> and it's just, it's made of this really durable fabric and all the clips and all the buckles look really strong and robust so I think this is going to get a lot of use. Okay so another of my favourites was this little one. Uh, this is a 3 litre first aid bag as you can see it's kind of the lightweight style of dry bag um, but this 3 litre size is perfect for your standard kind of first aid kit kind of trail type one. Uh, they also do a 5 litre one which would be better if you were doing some sort of mountain leadership type thing. But I have actually been looking one of these for ages because then if you are in any sort of accident anyone going in your bag to get the first aid supplies can immediately see where they are. I'll pop the link to Lomo down in the description. I would seriously recommend checking their kit out. I'm hopefully going to be getting a few more bits and pieces from their range uh, later on but I haven't really got any money left so <laughs> that might be a while. I think I'll do books next. So two books I've been reading this summer. First off are Blue Bear uh, by Lynn Schuler. Sorry Lynn, I can't really say his name. Lynn Schuler. Um, and I picked this up when I was in Nepal last December. Again, if you want to know what all that was about, um, click there and uh, yeah, you can see a video I made. It was like my second video or something, so it's a bit crap, but you can get a bit more of an idea what I go up to. Anyway, when we were on the trek, there was a, the world's highest bookstore and I thought, I'll get a book. Just, just to say, I can. I read it in the cover and everything. You can't read that because this camera's lens is awful. Nope. Uh, but yeah, basically, I picked this up thinking so I can get a book at the World's Highest Bookstore, and it's turned out to be one of my favourite ever reads. It's an account of about a decade of Lynn's life and about his adventures in Alaska. He's a wildlife guide and photographer and it's about his friendship with a Japanese photographer and about their hunt for a species called the blue bear which is a species of grizzly and it's a fantastic read it gives you <laughs> it gives you such a bad case of wonderlust just the descriptions of like the Alaskan wilderness are absolutely perfect 
so I would highly, highly recommend that one. Another one I'm reading um, is the Wilderness Survival Guide. Now, as I mentioned, I went off to Sweden and I kind of need to brush up on my bushcraft skills, fire lighting skills, all that kind of thing, because um, we would we were depending on that those skills. Um, and this is the perfect guide. I haven't really bought any other survival guides, but I wouldn't, I'm not going to after this. It really covers all the bases, covers everything you need, fire lighting, cooking, shelter building, everything, and it does it in a really readable way as well. A lot of guides have a habit of being kind of quite dense and quite just formal and instructive. Uh, Joe O'Leary, the author, does it in a really just nice, easy to read way. On the subject of books also, while well, I was in TK Maxx the other day, I picked up this. It's just a notebook, um, but yeah, it says... <laughs> This way to adventure, and it's just full. It's really nice. It's hardback and full of really cute little quotes. You can't see that. I need a macro lens. Um, but yeah, it's got loads of qu quotes from all sorts of people, and it's just a really cute little thing. I haven't decided what I'm going to put in it yet. Um, I guess I'll have to start writing a diary or something. Incidentally, the books I'm reading at the moment are Never Let Me Go. Uh, but I haven't seen the film. I know there is a film version, and I want to finish this before I watch that. Um, it's really good so far. I'm kind of quite busy at the moment, so I haven't been progressing as much, but really good start. I've also been <laughs> refreshing my skills with a Mountain Skills Training Handbook. Uh, I picked this up last year. I'm going to be doing some winter climbing, winter hill walking this year, and I wanted to just refresh my skills. Uh, this is the second edition, by the way. I think they're about £15 on Amazon. Uh, but if you are interested in hill walking, climbing, it has all your guides, all your knots, all your different pitching methods, and it's a really, again, just a really nice guide, really well written. So, again, on the topic of literature, I have been subscribed to MBR, Mountain Bike Rider, for like a year now. And this summer, I've just been reading them a lot more. All my old editions, all my old copies. Uh, they do this really great thing where they give you four pull-out little maps, um, routes all over the country, loads of different levels. Um, unlike some other mountain bike magazines, uh, MBR, MB, MB UK uh, is the one I think of. They don't do loads of freebies, which is normally something that pulls people into subscription. Um, but I, I quite like that they don't do that and just they stick to, you know, trusting that their articles are really good and everything. If you are a mountain biker and looking to improve your skills or get better rides in your local area, pick up a copy of MBR. They're, they're really, really good. They cater for all different levels of rider, all different locations. Also, they've revamped recently their editing, so everything's set out really nicely. The photography is wonderful in it. Half the pictures on my wall up here, I just pull out from here. So my last couple of favourites, um, first off, Van Gogh Banshee 200, oh my days. Right, another plug for you, I did a review on this tent um, like a month ago, if you want to have a check out, click here, And uh, but it is a really great tent, I've been using it all summer for all sorts of things. Um, but it is definitely one of my firm favourites. I think I might get another one though because my brother keeps stealing it, but they are very good value. I think they're about £80 at the moment, um, which for a really good quality tent is very, very cheap and very, very good value. The other thing, uh, which I haven't done a review of, don't worry, I'm not going to plug this one. Uh, this is the DD Camping Hammocks Camping Hammock. Uh, it's their kind of flagship product. Uh, it's a really great hammock. Uh, I was using it in Sweden, uh, sleeping it for a couple of weeks. It's super easy to set up, very lightweight for a, a hammock. Uh, it doesn't come with a tarp, I should add. Uh, you do have to get a tarp separate. I should be doing a review on this soon. If you would like that, please comment, because I've got lots of things I need to review, so I'm trying to prioritise. If you want a review of the DD Camping Hammock, just stick a thing for me in the comments so I know that you would like that. Okay, so the very, very last thing in this favourites video is this bear skin. Don't worry, it's not an actual bear skin, it's uh, from Matalan. <laughs> this is the Love to Dream Sherpa Throw from Matalan. It was a gift to me before my boyfriend left for uni, um, but it's so comfy. It's just, oh, it's so fluffy and soft, and it's the perfect thing for wrapping up on a couch um, when it's chucking down outside. It's winter now, guys. We need throws, we need throws, you need a throw. Just, oh, lovely.
So that's it for this summer's favourites. I am thinking about doing a monthly one of these. Um, it will depend on my income because obviously if I can't save up for stuff, I can't buy stuff and I can't put stuff in a favourites video. Um, but if you like this, because it is something kind of new I'm trying, if you like this, please give it a thumbs up so I know that. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. It makes me so happy when people subscribe. So please go and do that. And thank you. Goodbye and good night. I'm going to sleep. Bye. <laughs>